No matter how an online game turns out, it always sucks when its servers are permanently closed down. And the sad reality is that no game is eternal, especially those with online components that will, at one point, eventually be shut down by companies to save money. So, to honor those that have had the chop over the past few months, I'm Josh from WhatCulture.com, and these are 10 video games you didn't realize are shutting down in 2023. Number 10, Rumbleverse. The most recent casualty on this list, not one single day ago at the time of recording, it was announced that Epic Games' Rumbleverse will be shutting down at the end of February. Now, you might be asking, what? is Rumbleverse. Well, you won't be surprised to learn that it's one of the many free-to-play Battle Royale style games to be languishing in the live service graveyard. It launched last August and despite an appealing and accessible art style, failed to catch on. The premise was simple. 40 players, many of whom were sporting aggressively monetized colorful skins, dropped into a match and had to brawl it out until one reigned victorious. However, despite being crafted with long-term support in mind, it seems that after five months, the developers are calling it a day. Number 9. Fuser. Closing date, TBA 2023. Being the creator of Rock Band and Guitar Hero, it's no surprise that Harmonix's most recent project, Fuser, is another rhythm-based title. This time around though, those plastic instruments are out, and you must use your DJ skills to mix and synchronize music with a regular controller. It might sound like a novel idea that would get tiring quickly, but Fuser was hugely fun and entertaining. You have over 100 licensed songs to play, with huge amounts of freedom to blend and express your own artistic tastes. The online service enjoyed a range of modes too, allowing players across the globe to collaborate or battle each other with their remixes, alongside weekly events where players must incorporate a designated instrument or genre into their mix. If you're not in a competitive mood though, you could always use the freestyle mode to create your own mixed medleys and share them on social media. It sounds fun, right? Well, too bad, because after Harmonix was acquired by Epic Games, we knew the company's servers were on borrowed time. After all, the servers for several Rock Band titles were already shuttered. Although Fuser's online multiplayer was meant to be terminated in December 2022 though, it was postponed to a yet unrevealed date. Nevertheless, it feels like Fuser was canned away before its time. Number 8. Babylon's Fall, closing date February 23rd. In 2017, Platinum Games and Square Enix released Nier Automata, which was regarded as an instant classic. So when the two companies announced that they were reuniting for a multiplayer RPG called Babylon's Fall, the gaming community assumed that we'd be getting another solid title. Instead, the fittingly named game was hailed as the biggest flop of 2022. As disappointing as something like Marvel's Avengers turned out, that was an absolute triumph compared to this debacle. Thanks to bland designs and astoundingly repetitive combat, even the most patient gamers would struggle to endure this abomination for more than 10 minutes. Being a live service title, of course, the creators were expecting thousands of gamers to be playing Babylon's Fall at any one time. But sadly, the most simultaneous players Babylon's Fall ever had was 1,166, and if that sounds pitiful, that number actually dropped down to a single player within two months. After six months, Square Enix announced Babylon's Fall servers would be shut down for good on Feb 23rd, 2023, after less than a year on the market. And sadly, we can't even say that it was fun while it lasted since nobody actually enjoyed playing one second of this mind-boggling travesty. Number 7, Guns Up. Closing date, April 14th, 2023. Guns Up is a relatively straightforward side-scrolling strategy game, but this free-to-play title from Valkyrie Entertainment was a major success, boasting 1.5 million players within a year. As its popularity soared, this former PS4 exclusive was also ported to Windows and mobile systems to get a bigger audience. And in hindsight, it's actually kind of impressive how successful Guns Up became since it's, well, it's not that good. Although it's regarded as a strategy title, you actually have next to no direct control over your troops, meaning your chances of winning rely more on your level rather than your tactics. 
but at a certain point you also just won't be able to progress since your level will be too low. Which brings us to the microtransactions, as sadly Guns Up is the worst kind of freemium game. If you don't spend real money in upgrades, the gameplay is tedious, and if you do spend real money, well it's too easy, so you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. Even though the mobile port only came out last April, interest in Guns Up dwindled recently, encouraging the developers to announce its server's termination this year. Number 6, Dreadnought. The closing date, March 19th. Since Dreadnought's release, the Spaceship Combat Simulator has regularly been referred to as World of Tanks in Space. Now this is kind of an unfair comparison since Dreadnought's battles are a lot more bombastic and faster paced than Wargaming's excellent MMO. Also, Dreadnought requires more strategy than most other free-to-play combat titles. Since every ship has specific advantages and limitations, you need to put a lot of thought into which vehicles to use and where to position them, all the while monitoring your vessels to ensure their shields, weapons, and engines are upgraded appropriately. So even though multiplayer matches are short, the game does its best to zone you in from beginning to end. But due to the small player base and the amount of work required to keep the servers operating, developers Greybox decided that Dreadnought would go offline in March. However, rather than letting it die with a whimper, the creators made some excellent tweaks to ensure that the final matches are going to be extra special for players, including disabling all real money transactions. So if you have fond memories of Dreadnought, it's best to have a few more rounds while you still can. Number 5. Various Unreal Tournaments the closing date, January 24th. I don't know anyone who doesn't like Unreal Tournament. The series wasn't the first of its kind by any means, but it is obvious that so many modern FPS games share Unreal Tournament's DNA. Although there hasn't been a new installment since 2007, diehard fans are more than happy to keep coming back to the classics even after all these years. That's why it's sad then, no, that's why it's heartbreaking then, to learn that Epic Games shut down Unreal Tournament servers at the start of this year. Now, which version of Unreal Tournament, you may be asking, but the tragic answer is, all of them. Because the company started using a new software development kit called Epic Online Services, they had to deactivate out-of-date services for certain games, including Unreal 2, Unreal Tournament 2003, Unreal Tournament 2004, Unreal Tournament 3, and Unreal Tournament Game of the Year Edition. But it's not all bad news at least, since Epic Games intends to bring Unreal Tournament 3 back online in the near future, and he can still play the other installments, but their online capabilities are no longer an option. Number 4. Medal of Honor 2010 slash Airborne slash Warfighter. The closing date, February 16th. Every time Medal of Honor released a new installment back in the day, it became more apparent that the war shooter's best days were behind it. Three of the later entries, though being Airborne, Medal of Honor 2010, and Medal of Honor Warfighter, were so overlooked that it's hard to believe that this is the same blockbuster franchise that Steven Spielberg helped create in 1999. But the thing is, the games themselves weren't all that bad. Well, except maybe Warfighter, which was just an outright dumpster fire. Airborne, in particular, while it had its faults, was more of a case of wrong place, wrong time, with fans being absolutely sick of World War II shooters like this when it released. Still, its single player was pretty solid and its multiplayer was praised, particularly the almost asymmetrical way one team invades from the sky, hence the title, while those on the ground have to defend against them. Sadly, all of the online components for these titles are coming to an end, since EA have announced the termination of Medal of Honor's servers this year. And as frustrating as this news is, you can't really blame them on this one. Save for the VR spin-off Above and Beyond, Medal of Honor has been dormant for the last decade, and hasn't been good for even longer. Number 3, Deathverse Let It Die. Closing date, July 18th. Because Let It Die received a mixed reviews, you might think that it wouldn't take long for this hack and slasher to just fizzle out. But considering this Soulsborne inspired title got downloaded 2 million times in under 3 months, it was obvious that gamers actually couldn't get enough. And when those numbers rose to 6 million in 2020, it would have been just bad business for Let It Die to, well, die and especially not get a sequel. And so Super Trick Games brought out a Battle Royale follow-up called Deathverse in May 2022. In this installment, reality TV contestants must fight for fame and glory inside a virtual world. 
And after you and 15 of the players are dropped into arena, you need to do what you can to survive. Unlike its predecessor though, this one did not catch on, primarily because Deathverse itself was just kinda surprisingly bare bones. Once you've had a few goes, you've pretty much experienced everything that it has to offer. Recognizing that this pseudo spin-off couldn't match its predecessor then, the creators announced that Deathverse would come to an end only a year after it launched. Number two, over 10 sports games from EA. Yep, we're back to EA as it appears the company has a bone to pick with their sports games this year. Hell, as soon as 2023 started, EA Sports removed the online functionality for NBA Jam on Fire Edition. But you know, no big deal, right? I mean, it's just NBA Jam on Fire Edition, but just when sports fans thought this was just a one-off, the steadier version of FIFA 21, 22, 23, Madden 21, and 22 all had their servers disconnected. But again, you know, the steadier versions, were they even alive to begin with? I don't know, who's to say I'm not a doctor? But realizing that EA Sports was eradicating its own projects with the efficiency of a serial killer, the other games knew their days were numbered. And just as February hit, UFC was taken out too, and for some reason EA Sports thought Valentine's Day was an appropriate date to close the servers for FIFA 16, 17, 18, and 19 on all systems. And then, just when you thought the bloodbath was over, they announced the online multiplayer for Madden 18 and 19 would end that match. So since it's all early days, it's not too far-fetched to believe that EA Sports might have a few more titles on the chopping block before the year is over. Number one, Marvel's Avengers, closing date September 30th. Marvel's Avengers was so badly handled that you'd swear it was all orchestrated by Loki or someone. Boasting over a thousand glitches at launch, and that's not an exaggeration by the way, this comic book catastrophe was dead on arrival. Within two months, it was estimated that Square Enix had lost $63 million due to this stinker. And desperate to get back on track, the company released a bunch of patches for the game, which remedied countless player reported issues. Unfortunately, they also made some daft decisions and tweaks to the gameplay itself that just shot themselves in the foot, like introducing XP boosters and making the grind even worse than it already was. Soon after, after radio silence and lackluster updates, it was announced that Marvel's Avengers would come to an end this September. Although it was one of the most hyped projects of 2020, it took less than three years for this dud to be snapped out of existence. So, that's our list. I want to know what you guys think down in the comments below. Are you gutted that the servers for these games are being shut off? And are there any other big casualties that I missed off here? Let me know, and while you're down there, if you could, please give us a like, share, subscribe, and head over to whatculture.com for more lists and news like this every single day. Even if you don't, though, I've been Josh. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.